What's up guys? You guys watching Streetwise Garage. Um, and I have been posting a lot recently. I actually lost my charger for my camera. Um, I believe the last time I used it was when we went to Grange. So I haven't been able to upload any videos that I got that day. I didn't get much, but I got, I got you know, something. But I don't, I don't even know if I'm going to put it up to begin with. Um, I ordered one and actually just came in yesterday. So I had to obviously charge my camera. So I'm going to start filming again. Uh, a couple new things that I've been doing with the 240s, if you guys notice that uh, we have two now. I have my S14 and my girlfriend just got the S13. Um, we went and picked up a new bumper, as I said before too. It's a BN Sport front replica bumper. Um, the car did come with a lot of good stuff. I think I listed it before, I'm not sure, but just so that you guys know what it has. Uh, it has Origin Lab, front and rear fenders are 55 millimeters, BN side skirts, BN front bumper, uh, S14 interior, a personal uh, steering wheel. She just got a likewise shift knob with an extension. Uh, we actually picked up the front bumper. She just ordered gauges for her uh, temperature and oil pressure. Uh, she ordered some lights that go on the front bumper. She ordered a couple other more stuff that are supposed to be coming in in the next couple days probably. So some stuff that I ordered was uh, the mirrors, my clear corner lights. I got my uh, my wing. I got my roof wing, um, got my mirrors, and just some other couple of stuff that I'm still gonna order. So I gotta get the canards uh, from Vertex and Origin Lab. Also, um, we're gonna go pick up a rear bumper, I believe, this Saturday for the S13. And uh, after that, I'm gonna start getting the car prepped up for painting. I might just get it primered. Uh, well, actually, I actually gotta sand everything down and then get it primered. At least one color, so it won't look so ugly being like three or four different colors. So. I mean, I'm not going to lie, it looks cool, but I'm not trying to build another 240 that every you know young kid has. I'm not trying to say anything bad, I mean, everybody starts somewhere, but I'm trying to get this uh, car to be in really good condition and drivable and actually look really, really nice. So, uh, Her car, we're going with the, uh, with the Jet Black in, uh, engine bay. I just actually painted a, like a kind of forest-ish green. It's a little bit light. It came out a little bit lighter than, than I expected, but it actually came out pretty nice. Um, I don't know if I showed you guys the engine bay before, but it looked really disgusting. I did it exactly like I did with mine. I pressure washed the whole thing. I degreased it. Uh, I painted a couple of stuff to make everything look uh, kind of newer. I painted the engine bay. Um, I'm going to be doing the power steering pump soon. And uh, we're just going to wait for other little stuff to come in and then just get it prepped up for paint. My car, I'm still debating if I want to do a like hot style red or more of a burgundy-ish kind of color, so I'm still debating on that. I also got wheels for the S14. They're, um, I don't know if maybe you guys can help with this, uh, the people that watch the video. Uh, they're basically GTR R35 reps. I don't even know if they're actually R reps or not, because I know GTR reps come in 20s, but these come in uh, 18s. And I can't seem to find what replica brand makes these because I want to buy another another set for the S13. So I'm trying to uh, I'm trying to figure out what they are. I don't know if you guys know, but um, yeah, they're pretty cool. They're uh, like a charcoal charcoal gray color. So it's gonna really go with the color that I'm going with the car. Um, once I get the car painted and on the wheels, I'm gonna I'm gonna actually get it registered and actually start driving it. The car's been on auto piece since 2009, so the car hasn't really been driven since. Uh, the car dri drives and runs fine and everything. It's just the guy didn't, he lost interest in it. So, um, yeah, once I, uh, once I get it registered, I'm going to start driving and then start working on the interior and suspension and stuff like that. So, uh, right now I actually just did her door panel or door card, uh, some floral type thing. I still got to work a lot on the car. I just got the mirrors on, got the front bumper fitted properly, I would say, better than any other replica body kit would have fit, so. I'll show you guys basically what I did to make it fit, and um, it took a while, but I mean, I got it done, so let me show you guys. So, this is her F13, as I showed you guys before, I believe. We just got these uh, corner lights. They're from FR Sport. I think they get it from Circus Sport, so I'm not sure. I uh, actually just wired one up yesterday to see how that fit. I'm not going to lie, this it's not the best, but this is as good as possible as I can get. I tried everything I can to get it better. I tried making a bracket, but the bumper just doesn't go any higher because it hits with the over fender here. So, got that fit as much as possible. Uh, this won't go over too much because I have a bracket inside holding the fender, so it won't move. So, this bumper is too stiff to be able to go in and 
uh, go in the line. Before, I guess someone messed with the hood and the headlights. I think they were going with the Silvio front at some point. So I don't know what they did, but everything was fitted horribly. So got the hood fitted a little bit better. Actually lines up with the lights kind of similar. I lined up the front bumper right here as best as possible. It pops up a little bit right here. I don't know what to do there yet. I'm still trying to figure that out, but everything else lines up pretty good. Uh, it didn't come with these plastic pieces for the headlights. I actually just got those from some guy off of, uh, off of Facebook, so that was pretty cool. And um, yeah, I got the hood fitted, got the headlights fitted the way they should. Got the fenders fitted as close as possible as I can with the door still opening properly. Uh, got these mirrors off of uh, Amazon, I believe, or eBay. And they actually have uh, turn signals on the inside, so that's pretty cool. This is a uh, door card. That I made for her. Gotta clean everything in here. It's all really nasty and dirty. Obviously, I haven't really had that much time with the car yet. It's only been like maybe two and a half weeks that we had it. But I already did a pretty big difference with it uh, from exterior wise and engine wise. So I'll show you guys that right now. That's her shift knob that she just got. That's a personal signal. Which actually, this is actually gonna go on my S14. She's gonna order an Artie. Uh, she ordered a gauge pod or the gauge plate for that because it didn't doesn't have the vents so she ordered that um, gotta fix all this there's a bunch of wires it just looks really ugly so I'm gonna fix all that fix this wiring and uh, kind of just clean everything up get her new seats probably gonna go with some brides I don't know we'll, we'll see from there um, so with the front bumper I actually made a bracket right here that goes straight all the way through which is an L, so it goes straight and it goes upwards. That's what sits on, on the front bumper, so it just it sits on top of it. Just drilled it into the piece of the frame that doesn't have anything up here. Uh, painted the whole lower part of the frame uh, like a glossy black. I was trying to go with the flat black, but that didn't work out. For her engine bay, I painted a, like a darker green, which I thought was going to be lighter, but it came out. Which I thought was going to be darker, but it came out lighter, so. Uh, I mean, I like it. it. looks pretty cool. Back then, we'll paint it uh, flat black because... I'm basically going to take out everything back there in order to get it painted. So I'm going to do all that flat black, flat black in there. Paint the booster. Uh, this is what the block looks like at the moment. Uh, paint the block cover. Uh, glittery gold. So it looks pretty cool. Uh, it had a quarter intake. It looked really ugly. So got this going on. But I got to make a bracket that goes from here to here to hold it up because it just kind of shakes there. So. And right now with her gauges that she just got, she got a water temperature gauge too. So this has a Mishimoto... Uh, uh, fans I believe and it came with this little thing to tell you the temperature because the OEM one on the dash does not work because it is a 186 uh, cluster so that has to be uh, has to be done oh, everything looks really ugly but I gotta get all that painted unless they painted everything right I don't know but someone says they're JDM I don't know but yeah, it doesn't work with the OEM one, so we just got the gauges, and I'm obviously gonna mount them up right there. We gotta get a new window or windshield because this one's cracked. And yeah, just like little stuff. I took the bash bar out, the front one, so I can uh, paint that green. I'm gonna paint the rear one green. Uh, it came with Koki tails. What's up, puppy? Yeah, it came with Koki tails or uh, the RPS 13 ones. Hey, watch out, fool! Yeah, so it came with that. Um, it's already five lug swapped. Has 300ZX front calipers like I just did with mines. Pretty cool. Gotta paint those too because they're fucking ugly. And I gotta fix the bracket for the headlight because it just broke. So if I pull it up, it just goes straight down. So I gotta fix that. And uh, and I'm gonna show you guys my mirrors because they're kind of similar. So this is my car right now. It's just sitting back here. I got everything fitted on properly. Uh, this is her side screws, not mine's. Um, so this is the wing I got. It's a bow mix wing. I actually kind of like it. I feel like it's a little bit too big. I'm still not sure how how I feel about it, but we'll see when everything's painted. Uh, I got my roof wing. Interior is still interior. Uh, I did my 300ZX uh, front calipers on this. Let me see. Um, so I got all my five swaps stuff here. Like I got uh, this. I got the tranny somewhere over there. I got all this other stuff for it. 
This is her box for her uh, corner lights for the front bumper. This just came in, I believe. Are these my mirrors? Oh, these are my clear corner lights for the front. So I just got these two. Let me see how these look in a bit. And uh, I think my mirrors are over there. Let me go check. If you guys know the guy that I posted a while ago, his name is Cody. He has a Y Type X. He just dropped off his whole real GDM 180SX Type X uh, full kit to get it painted. It's going to be like a glossy white. Um, right here, I have her valve cover gasket. I think this box is empty. Yeah, the box is empty. It's a mess in here. Um, these are my mirrors. These come with uh, turn signals, so these are gonna be for the S14. And right now we just order gauges, and I'm gonna try to wire those up and see how that goes. But overall, everything looks good under the engine bay. Got everything fitted properly as it should be. So no more than like a couple of weeks before this car gets painted. Um, with mines, I'm still waiting on my canards and all these other little stuff to get it painted. So yeah. So right now I'm gonna take my corner lights off and see how the new. Uh, clear ones look so this is what they look like before there's a quick difference of the new ones and the old ones these are obviously stock and these are I believe D Max style ones so yeah you guys already seen my new bay how clean that is too I did all that but um yeah these are the corner ones they look a lot better than actually on the car but yeah excited I kinda wanna make the inside in here like get the blue bulb so at least all of this reflects blue or yellow, either one. I'm really excited to get my clear covers. <clears throat> These are the wheels back here. So they're like R35 style wheels, but in 18s, which is crazy. <laughs> 